Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you install Oracle 12C release 1 on Windows 10. For installing Oracle 12C, you need to download it from its official website. First of all, go to Oracle official website in the download section, accept license agreement, select there, and here you see that there are two files of Oracle database 12C release 1. You need to download both of them. I already downloaded it, so I don't want it to download it again. When you finish download, open the folder where you download your two files and extract both of them. And you saw that there are two folders. Name win x64 underscore 12102 underscore database underscore 1 of 2 and also 2 of you need to go to the folder winx64 underscore 12102 underscore database 2 of 2 and into that folder you saw a folder named database go into the folder there's a storage folder then component folder and you need to copy all these files and go back to the folder of winx64 underscore 12102 underscore database underscore 1 of 2 Go to its database folder, stage folder, component folder and paste it here. Now here you see that all the files that are in second folder are will be here. Now for in installing Oracle database, go back to that folder, right click on setup.xd file and run as administrator. And here you see that Oracle Universal Installer will start installing Oracle 12C database. And then you see that there is a dialog box appearing. It shows that are you wanted to receive security updates. If you wanted to receive it, then check it, otherwise uncheck it and click on next. I don't want it to receive it, that's why I uncheck it and click on next. And here you select, I want to remain unforced or critical security issue in my configuration and, and click on continue. And here Oracle database asks you whether you wanted to create and configure a new database, install database server only, upgrade an existing database. So we create a new and configure a database, click on that and click on next. And here it will ask to desktop class or server class. We click on desktop class because we are on desktop server, because we are on desktop computer. And next, here it will ask you, are you wanted to use existing window user or creating a new user or wanted to use built-in account. I wanted to use built-in windows account, so I don't want to create a new account. Click on the, check the use window built-in account and click on next. And ignore that, just click on yes. And here it will ask you where you save your database files. I wanted to save in I wanted to save in C Oracle 12.1.0 DB home underscore one. And global database name is uh, your database name. And the administrative password is not your system administrative password. It is the password that you wanted to use for Oracle. This account or the powerful account of the Oracle. Save this password and don't forget. Click next and then click on yes. Now here it will check some prerequisites.
Now when it is checking for three requisites, it will ask for allow firewall connection. You can just allow it and continue installing. Now here we will finish our installation of Oracle database. Now on some window user, sometime a Because they first install it and then uninstall it, and the issue will came. And also on the window and this is the most common issue. So if the error came during the installation, no need to worry about that. Just finish it and go to your start menu, SQL Developer, Mode, Run as Administrator. And here. You will see that it shows two options: create database, manage template. We wanted to create database, so create database. Click next. Global database name your database name and administrator password is for your sys account password. Click on next and it will check some prerequisite and it will create your database. In previous installation, sometimes database will not be created because of the error case. So if the error came, that you need to create database manually using database configuration system.
by the way the record database is named there are lot of account this is you saw that there is two account sys and system which is unchecked all other are checked unchecked means that you can use that account and the account that are checked you cannot use until you uncheck it so we uncheck some account so that we can use that We unlock start account and also enter its password that we wanted to use when we log in. Now click OK. Our database will be successfully installed. And click on Yes. Now again go to S to Start menu. Right click on SQL Plus and go to More. Run as administrator. By default, uh, the power to nature of the Oracle database is the success or success. In later video, I will teach you how you create a new account. So far, logging as SIS account, right? SIS as SIS DBA. And your password, administrator password, that you write during database creation or installation. Now here you see that we are connected to our database.